Hi, I'm Magpie. And I'm Jax. <laughs> and this is Mondays with Magpie. And it's going to be a wild and wooly episode, I can tell. We're not even cooking with wine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making today? We are going to make stuffed mushrooms. Ooh, I know. I've never made that. Well, we're going to make them today. Awesome. And we're going to stuff them with sausage and spinach and cheese. While we drink wine. While we drink wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, Jack, so how about if we put some olive oil into our hot pan. Right. Hot pan, cold oil, that food won't <laughs> stick. Yeah, six, a nice, a goodly amount. Goodly. Yeah, goodly amount. Recipe says six tablespoons, but... Oh, that you know, is a goodly amount. I know it's a goodly amount. All right. All right, what is a goodly amount? Six <laughs> tablespoons. All right, there we go. That's good. That's goodly. That's very, very goodly. All right, now, we have mild sausage. So put that in. Toss use, them in. Do you keep them in the casing? Yeah, in the casing. Now, you can use... But don't drop them. It's <laughs> trying to be like, splish, splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> hey, olive oil is good for the skin. But yeah, Maybe use, not sizzling one. <laughs> use whatever kind of sausage you like. If you like turkey sausage, mild, sweet, whatever. Pork. Mild. Mild. So we're making it for Jack, so it's mild. If I were making Maybe. it for my darling son, they would be hot, hot, hot. So, this is the um, yes. things that make it hot. All right. Now, <laughs> And sliced medium onion. So here goes a sliced medium onion. Okay. Sliced, not diced. So I know how to I know how to read. So here we go. <laughs> sliced, not diced. I'll just stand here and pose. With yeah, look pretty. Kitchen utensils. Oh, this look pretty. Yes. Cooking. <laughs> okay. Whoa. And I'll throw them on the floor. All right. And you put the. All right. Now it's time for you to put separate the little straight the little rings. And then I do have a job. Onion. Yes, she does. You're, you be onion separator. It's a. I'm gonna put that on my resume. Yeah, it's it's a real job. Onion I don't separator. have a resume, but if I did have a resume, yeah, that would be my special. That would be onion separator. Okay. Why do you think you're right for this job? I separate onion rings. Like a pro. <laughs> okay, maybe not like a pro. <laughs> do anything like a pro. Ladies and gentlemen, I think she's been at the wine. <laughs> I haven't yet. Can you imagine? <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. I'll be doing this. Alright, I'm going to flip the sausages. See, on my resume, I will put that I am a sausage flipper. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I'm already done. <laughs> Alright, throw them in. Oh wait, come on. throw them in. Wait, this one's stuck. Okay. Just with the sausage? Yeah, yeah. Put okay. Yeah, that's what that's they're what, in now. There's no going back. That's the whole idea. We're just gonna put them in. So at some point, I guess we, we're gonna cut the sausage, but not quite yet. So we're just gonna get everything cooked. Okay. All right. Okay. This is um, actually to make very good engagement rings if you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> if you're very very. When poor. I got engaged, I really should have got an onion ring. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let this go. We're gonna put half a cup of red wine. Now here is the measuring cup, my dear. Four ounces is half a cup, okay? So uh, you can be a little generous, I think. <laughs> because after all, a little over? Yeah, why not? All right. Wine one for the wine. recipe, yes. one down the head. One, <laughs> one for the cook. All right, so that goes in, that goes in just like that there. Then you just want to make sure it's good because sometimes they're skunked. So, <laughs> oh, smell, 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 smell. Ready? Good bouquet. Yes. Very good. That's nice. All right, so we're going to let this cook until the onions are nicely done and the sausage is finished, and then we'll come back. So while the um, while the sausage is cooking, we're going to break it up and we're going to cook it, continue cooking until the wine is just about gone. So, so Jacqueline, just take a thing and. Yeah. Smush it until I mean, it breaks. Yeah, just smush it. And by the time the wine is all done, that ticked you off today. <laughs> <Yeah>. And smush you. <laughs> and smush you. Remember that show where they go, yeah. the kids oh, are yeah. always crushing, yeah. crushing, crushing squish squish you. you. That's what yeah. you do. And you would squash. You would squash the sausage. So uh, you're just going to let that cook down then until, it's, until the wine is all gone. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline. Now it's time to add the water and the spinach. So water. let's do that. Half a cup of water. Half a cup of water. Half a cup. 
I won't taste that, I'm sure. No. <laughs> you know what that tastes like. And um, let's throw in half of the spinach. This okay. is supposed to be eight ounces, and that's one. This is one pound of spinach. Where do you see what it cooks down to? Clearly, we Nothing. picked this from our gardens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, supermarket garden. Oh. I have very good things. Is that like half ish? Yeah, good enough. Close enough. All right, now while this is, this is going to go down to nothing. So while that's going down to nothing, um, you can chiffonade the basil. I like to chiffonade. And chop up the parsley. I like to say chiffonade while I'm chiffonading. <laughs> you just, you just <laughs> say chiffonade to your heart's content. We're going to grill the portobello mushrooms in a moment, and they are, it, this is really nice and hot now. We can have ours, they have to like, yes, burn my arm. Gonna... All right, now Jacqueline, put in three quarters of the cheese, but leave some so we can put it on top as garnish. Three quarters. Three quarters, yeah. Eyeball it. <laughs> <laughs> and this was, what kind of cheese? This is uh, Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack. But you can use the kind of cheese you like, um, mozzarella if you if you want. Or yeah, then Oops, this, this I did is a good it. job grading this part. So that might have been mine. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Why do they call it Monterey Jack? Is it from Monterey? I have some guy no named Jack? idea. This is something. Farmer named need. Jack that lives in Monterey. Yeah, Monterey. <laughs> no, I have no idea. I'll Here. have to Google that. You do that. You do that. Hang on. Don't burn yourself. All right, I will start with the uh, the mushrooms in okay. a moment, as soon as Jax is done with that. Are we happy? We're happy. That's okay, right. gas off, set it aside. I'm cooking with gas. Too cool. Too cool. Too cool. All right, Jacqueline, if you turn over the portobello mushrooms, you will see nasty black gills or brown gills, which, you know, I they're not going to kill you. They're fine. But they're just ugly. So we take a spoon and we're just going to kind of scrape oh, them out. out. Yeah, we're going to okay. get them out just like that. See, we're just scraping to get most of them out. Because and we also need some place to put all of our good stuff. You can also use this for as frisbees. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a brassiere. But <laughs> oh gosh. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, should I be helping? Yeah, yeah. You should be helping. And I'm going to cut off that little knobby thing, the little stem. And so the, like, this will still have good flavor. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're just getting rid of blackness of this uh, brown. It, sometimes it discolors. And we, we, you know, heaven forbid, we should have discolored food. So we are. Because you eat with your eyes. Oh, yes. And like I say, you know, I do a lot of eye eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I way to your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jax. Now we're going to brush the... Uh, the tops with oil. I bet you gonna... can't tell which ones Maggie did and which ones <laughs> I did. <laughs> and we salt and pepper them. You Just know what? When, when we eat them, no one's going to know. It's true. So, no, don't worry about it. Do we need more oil? We might be out. Let me see. Oh, we're out. Use it sparingly here. Right, so you just keep on brushing, and I'm going to put salt and pepper. Give them a little bath. Um, well, I'll use my fingers because I don't know where the little spoony thing is. No one will know. No. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever knows what happens in these secret. That's why you're better off making it yourself because who knows what's happening in a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, now we're going to put this on a grill. I have had a little grill thing on the stove heating up all the while we did this. So, uh, oil side down? Yeah, uh, yeah, this side down. I mean, yeah. that should be obvious, but just in case. <laughs> it was a chore. Four. And then while that's cooking, brush, and we'll salt and pepper the tops. Okay. So in a minute, we'll turn them over. 
Now these, the portobello is a nice meaty flavor. That's the whole point. And I spent is, some time as a vegetarian and vegan and this was like a burger. Yeah. You put that between two slices like yeah. of bread. Yeah, that's why we're doing it. This is, for, um, this is for my son on his keto diet. So that uh, when he comes to dinner at my house, he can have this. And it's, everything is fine. He can eat as much of this as he wants. Do you like that much that's, more? No, I think that's okay. Right now we're salting, uh, salting and peppering the tops of the mushroom cat. Oh, jeez! <laughs> and, and then we're going to flip them. Jacqueline is going to flip them, which of course is going to be entertaining <laughs> You're gonna see this. in and of itself. <laughs> I will get a flipper. Am I flipping already? No, Jacqueline, let me show you what my mother taught me. Okay. What I'm here for. You put this one is your backboard, all right? Okay. So you get under it, and that way you're not like it's not flying in the air. All right. All right. Trying to get you a little insurance. It's two-handed. Yes, the two-handed. Gotta put my phone down for a minute. Yeah, the, yeah, the two-handed flip. Oh. Hey, that was a bad. I uh, see. Very, very good. That's a good little. Thing. Yeah, but it's easy to control. Of course, you're dirty two spatulas. Well, you know, <laughs> these things. When the maid comes in, she can uh, <laughs> maid. Yeah, she, she can do something. Keep waiting for mine. <laughs> it um, looks like we're gonna have more than enough for four, but we'll see how it all goes. Oh, Jacqueline and I, Jack and I have found that uh, these things shrink as they cook, so uh, you might want to see four more. I happen to have uh, two packages. I never buy one of anything. All right, now we're gonna load our stuffing mixture on top of the mushroom. Alright, go on in. Alright, you can do the others. Load it on. That much? No, yeah, why not? I mean, it's dinner, right? Yeah. This is a pretty big one. I could probably add more to that. Well, let's get, let's get all four done first, and we'll go back. Yummers! Yummers, yummers, yummers! Oh, wow. Now, Sizzle. Oh, God, yeah. Now, this is supposed to be done outside on a grill, and you would normally close the cover of the grill until it cooks. We're going to put a tomato on two of them because that's not on the keto diet. So someone who's not on the keto diet can eat tomatoes. And then the others, we just have cheese and pepper. Okay. I'm pepper jack. Oh, that's right. Here we are, pepper jack. So put a little bit of cheese on each one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Is that enough cheese? You're making good stuff. Do you want more cheese or is that enough? I think that's enough. I mean, I think it's up to you. You can do what you want. And now if you have an outside of the grill, you just you close the top. But yeah. But we're, we're making a... We're just making a little chimney. A little tinfoil chimney. Yeah, I'm gonna, and we have enough for four more, I would think. Okay, so now we're ready to take these off the grill. Look at that. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, so good. Here, you hold this for a moment. Okay. Because I need a little help from my friend. <laughs> Can we go? The backboard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes good sense. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, these smell so good. They really do. Mmm. Mmm. They're really good too. Okay. Are we going to go for the other two? Yeah. Now, we don't have to watch the next thing, but we're going to make four more because we have enough uh, filling. Might as well. And now for the best part, Jacqueline. That makes it all worth it. Yeah. Moment. Let's see if, if we did it. <laughs> mm. Well, it's really good. Is it? That's hearty. Mm. It's like a hearty mm, mm, mm. meal. Mm. Mm, it's really yummy. So with the tomato one. Mm. Yeah. I eat that. That's delicious. Mm. That is very, 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 very nice. Uh, I think you don't need any more salt and pepper than what we put on it. Um, certainly no more salt because uh, the cheese makes it salty, I think. And uh, when it's processed sausage, so you do as best you can. Thank you for joining us and catch us again next week.